listen, can this thing get to 140 uh, into, ne you know, into next year, first quarter? Absolutely. But I, again, I, I do believe uh, any dip tomorrow. Uh, start. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another uh, edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. I hope everybody is uh, doing okay. For all you guys who are uh, living in the Northeast, especially uh, in the tri-state area for tomorrow, they're saying like five, fifteen thousand square foot of a lot of a lot of snow, a lot of snow. They're, they're, they're talking about anywhere between a foot and two feet of snow. So please stay uh, safe. Most important. Now that I got my stupid generator up and running, is it weird that I'm actually hoping for a power outage? Got to test this baby out, right? Anyway, guys, hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody had a good uh, trading session. Kind of an odd day in in a weird way. Uh, if you look at the scoreboard, you got 300 points uh, on the Dow, 150 points. On the composite, everything looked really, really good. The problem was all the really good aggressive action came in the morning and nothing really happened in, in a weird way. For the exception of like Apple and AMD, nothing really happened. Like it, it was such a weird day. And the majority of the day, if you look at uh, the scoreboard today, you had a lot of names that were resting. The problem is they really haven't participated in a very, very long time. Again, it's the weirdest thing. And I said, in this lifetime, is this stock ever going to go up again? Uh, Facebook, again, is looking really fugly, right? But at least it has a little bit of pulse. But again, still doing absolutely uh, doing absolutely nothing. Beyond had a couple of good PRs and has gone sideways for a long time. Boeing had a big run. And again, you can make an argument and say, look, it's just consolidating. Uh, it's going higher. Uh, Alibaba, I'm telling you right now, will never have another update again. Please, I'm being sarcastic. But again, you kind of get the point. Is it possible to get a day two rally on anything, right? Amazon looked great, was ready to go, was ready to go, was ready to go, rejected at the top of the channel. Netflix, and again, I like Netflix. I think Netflix is actually resting today. Uh, had a really big run. I think this channel, again, gets tested tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then the next day, and it should run again. But again, the point is, why can't these things just have a second day run? Tesla, I get, right? Tesla had a monster move yesterday. It relaxed today. It held the rising five-day moving average. A again, we're a couple of days away from index funds needing to buy this thing. So I do expect uh, a rally in this thing at some point in the next 24 or 48 hours, right before the inclusion to confirm this little channel here, and at some point test uh, the 12.9 high. So we're, we're kind of set up, and the market's kind of continuing doing its song and dance over and over and over again. You get one hit wonders, and they don't do anything for the next three, four days. But again, there's still good action, and we're continuing to see good action from other areas. Today was just one of these days that I caught some Apple, Caught some Apple pretty well. Um, that opening print, and again, Apple was definitely the strongest one. Then the AMD was very, very strong. And then you had a whole bunch of stallouts. Like Zoom had every opportunity to really explode today, like absolutely explode. They were grinding it up. And again, before you look at this, look, this is the whole channel on Zoom. And I was watching this channel on Zoom, I go, out. Oh, if this thing starts getting above this whole channel, this thing's going to go, it's going to go, it's going to go. And it finally started moving. And I go, okay, there's another channel here. If it confirms, it's going to go, it's going to go, it's going to go. It went straight to hell. So, again, something's very, very odd with these things. But I do have an idea that I do believe that 2021 is, and again, we don't know what's going to happen in 2021. And I keep on talking about that. But I have to assume there will be a viable, aggressive rotation in a lot of these names that have not participated. Again, Amazon has got a good year, but it's kind of done nothing for the last four or five months. NVIDIA had a really good year, has done nothing. So I, I, I do believe technology will wake up at some point of 2021. I do believe they will have their day in the sun for a very long period of time. The Facebooks of the world, um, you know, the Beyonds are gonna wake up again. NVIDIA, dare to say it, in this lifetime or the next, but that should wake up as well. But in until then, like I say, let's take it day by day. Scoreboard really didn't, uh, really didn't paint a picture of what the things 
Uh, what we were looking at today, again, there was a lot of dead money for a majority of the day. Uh, the market kind of really sprung up towards the end of the afternoon, but I had a lot of stalls and stops today. Uh, Zoom, I, I was in Zoom twice, actually. Okay, uh, first one, it stalled out, I lost a dollar. Uh, then it started moving up again, right? It stalled out, I broke even, I made a cup of coffee on it. So it was one of those weird scenarios that things look like they're about to go and then they kind of stalled out. A lot of you know, participation or lack of non-participation. And the moral of the story is again, like I talked about yesterday and the day before and the day before and the day before that, every day is different. We know there's themes, we know there's uh, areas of interest in the market, both small, mid cap and mega cap stocks every single day. Some days are going to fall right into your sweet spot and certain days you're going to sit there and you're just like, well, what the hell just happened here? How come nothing is confirming? And again, tomorrow we can have 10 pivots. Tomorrow we could have two pivots. The day, you know, the most important part, guys, just stay under control, wait for these channels to set up. And I do believe even if they don't go tomorrow, a name like a Netflix will have another run. I do. I mean, look, you can see this clear channel here. Right, we're just waiting for this channel to confirm. Um, you know, even Amazon, as much as it was, you know, it's a it's a pain in the ass in the last, especially in the last several months. But you could see this clear channel. This is a bad wick. You could see this clear channel here. If it starts waking up, and again, those buyers were pretty obvious today. Again, with the 30, uh, 3,200 weeklies. Again, 3,200 weeklies. Wake the hell up already. 3,300 weeklies. Wake the hell up on here. You know, on and on and on. So it's very important to wait. The one stock that did wake up today. Finally got above its channel, right? Really, really got above its channel. And again, you can see kind of the option order flow. Uh, let me just show you. Uh, this was Apple, man. I mean, look at it. Look how they were coming today uh, for Apple. So it broke above the 126 level, and you could see these calls. You 132 for next week. Uh, 130s, the 131 weeklies, 129 weeklies, 121 weeklies, 131 weeklies. So they're coming for Apple, and it's very, very aggressive. Uh, that they're coming for Apple. So again, technology is alive, but the point is you really have to pick your spots, okay? You have to pick your spots uh, over and over and over again, because again, if you try to uh, anticipate a trade playing out, what you're going to do is you're gonna, you're gonna go into the trade very, very early, and the next thing you know, you are uh, completely dead in the water. So don't anticipate, wait for these things to happen. So you'll see I know a lot of dead money here today. Uh, Netflix, I was waiting for this channel, never happened. ZS, I was waiting for this channel, never happened. I was waiting for this channel here, never happened. DDOD put up a pretty, DDOG put up a pretty decent move. Uh, for all you guys who did take it, I missed it. I don't know what the hell I was doing, but I did miss it. Uh, DDOG, uh, it broke above this 104 channel, traded right to the supply here at about 106. Any build now over 106 on DDOG, look how much room you have. You have a whole big channel to fill, but the point is it didn't get there yet. Let's watch it from the macro point of view. So again, like I said, very, very odd day. Uh, NET, I was watching for a back test that never came. Then I was watching for a channel to be broken that never came. Again, you can see a lot of weird names here. Uh, Amazon, I was watching for this 90s area, never got there. RKT, I was watching for this 2280, 23 level, never got there. You see the point, right? A lot of names despite uh, the market surging today, and, you could, and that's the kind of the case. It's looked so good, and nothing confirmed today. I mean, very, very little things. Uh, Net, uh, Tesla, I was looking for this channel here, never got even close. But again, I still believe that Tesla does make another run in the next 24, 48 hours. Uh, Apple, you know, Apple was good. Uh, Apple was good. Uh, 126, uh, huge area needs to break, and Apple broke. And again, big, big uh, option flow for this whole week. It took out this whole channel here. Listen, can this thing get to 140? Uh, into the, you know into next year first quarter absolutely but I, again I, I do believe uh, any dip tomorrow uh, stock closed almost at 28 any dip tomorrow into rising support should be bought any red to green move uh, should be bought and especially if it confirms today's move of 28 uh, it should go higher as well so I know a lot of you guys are still swinging that uh, AMD uh, big again AMD got upgraded last night by Goldman Sachs a lot of the semiconductors name did as well as along with along with Intel along with MU and it woke up today so 9650 needs to build uh, they were coming in for the 98 calls they were also coming in for the 100 calls weeklies as well and uh, here was AMD right here was AMD uh, took out the 9650 and traded all the way up to 98. Again, still looks good, uh, but again, now you have to kind of wait for some channels 
uh, to get some healthy dips. Uh, so Apple is good. Uh, good job for all you guys who caught uh, MRNA, 147 held twice. If it builds below, can flush. Uh, again, look before we talk about mRNA. Look what they did to Pfizer, right? Everybody knew the the, you know, the the vaccines coming. It was already built in, and you know Pfizer hasn't seen the light of day ever since they started confirming that the vaccines were imminent, right? So look at mRNA. Uh, here is the 147 that we talked about, right? 147 we talked about went all the way down uh, to 142. You can see it, 142. You know, here's the whole 47 channel went all the way down to 42. Good shot for all you guys who caught that as well. I think that was it. Yeah, Zoom. Yeah, the, here's here's Zoom, right? You know, so I got long 409, it stalled. Uh, I got long 410, it stalled. Blah 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 blah. Yada yada yada. Next thing you know, the stock goes down like fifteen dollars. But again, that's why you you watch order flow when these things do stall out at channels. Just get out of them. You could always buy them back. So again, like I said here, you know, sit tight, guys. The channels are contracting. There's absolutely no value, and that's exactly what it was. Um, that's exactly what it was most of the day. And here is like give, buyers are giving it up. Forty seven cracked. And yada yada yada, take on the way down, mRNA destroyed. So that was kind of, you know, that was kind of um, the extent of the day. You know, you had some, um, you know, selective movers like the AMDs of the world, like the Apples of the world, but you had a lot of dead money. And that's the most important part. So again, maybe these things wake up as, as a tribe tomorrow, maybe they don't. But again, there's two weeks left in the year. Who the hell wants to recreate the wheel? Enjoy your holidays. If you get value, you trade your value. If not, again, the next day is always available to us. Guys, have a great night, everybody. Uh, God bless. Let's see what we can get tomorrow, and hopefully we can all see each other again. Take care, guys. Have a good night.